This is everything you need to know about mineral tubs. Today we're answering all the most frequently asked questions about these large containers that I always grow food in. Because apparently they're a really big hit and I don't go into enough detail about them. But before I do, I want to tell you we're Salty Acres. We're an edible plant business where we ship plants straight to your door so you can grow things right in these containers as well. Obviously the most popular question I get is where do you get these containers from? And well the simple answer is cattle farmers. Seeing Purina right on the side of the container should have definitely given it away. I've seen too many people go wrong by Google searching where to buy mineral tubs. Because if you do, you're going to see they're pretty expensive. So the best place to buy these things from is from cattle farmers. You can buy them for 5 or $10 a piece. And that's because it's empty. See, this container originally weighed 200 pounds, and that's because it was filled all the way up with protein. And if you live in an area where they raise a lot of cattle, sometimes you're lucky enough to score you one right on the side of the road. Then another question I always get asked is, what size are these containers? And truth be told, they come in a lot of different sizes. But they actually store the same amount of dirt or water. The black container is actually two inches skinnier than the red container container but it's also one inch taller than the bread container and even though they're different sizes they still hold about 20 gallons the next question we always get asked is what food can we grow in them i've grown blackberries and raspberries blueberries and fruit trees sweet potatoes tomatoes and peppers i mainly grow just anything i know my family eats and it's definitely not limited to the things i just mentioned then after i've grown all the food in those containers everyone wants to know what i do with the dirt in them I really just reuse it. Yes, I know that there's a lack of nutrients in that soil that I keep. But dirt's expensive, especially if you're filling up all these containers. So I always add these few ingredients to my dirt in order to put some nutrients back into the soil. Long story short, hang on to all that dirt because you can reuse it. Then probably the most important question in the dating world is how long do they last for? These containers are very durable and can take a beating. But really and truly, the average lifespan on these containers is about six years. But if you do this one extra step, you can make this thing last for up to 10 years. Store them during the winter time in the garage or in a barn. Eventually, these containers will get brittle the longer they stay outside. And just because they crack every now and then don't mean you got to stop using them. I've even duct taped a lot of these containers to make them last another year or two. So store them away as often as you can to get them away from the weather. And if you're not lucky enough to get you a few of these containers, don't get too upset because you can do the same exact thing in five-gallon buckets.